day 697 22 for 22 good morning i hope this finds you well please stay in your fight and do not quit all right so a rainy day edition on the way to work uh the 22 uh started yesterday with hope as our first way to get our lives back on track today is going to be health and like i said these can be interchangeable but to me hope is the most important one because if you don't have that nothing else matters uh, health that can be this could be end up being two portions because I'm not going to talk forever um, mental health there is when you're when you're down and when you're getting your butt kicked by life it kind of takes a toll up here and you kind of can lose sight of the big picture that you got going on uh, other problems can kick in depression uh, you know if you're bipolar already if you have a TBI if you have all these other issues that uh, f uh, fog your thinking um, they need to be addressed uh, the VA spends a lot of time doing that with medicine and from what I hear ineffective therapy I know from my own experience they didn't do much for me but that's it is what it is um, the job of what we need to do there is find something that works and it is possible very possible um, to find something that works and it takes trial and error experimentation and keeping a keeping a positive attitude about the whole thing overall you can have your days where you say yeah f this crap and i'm not i'm done uh messing around with it um but the thing is you got to keep looking you can be frustrated you can be troubled you can have the issues that you have but you got to be able to bounce back and keep bouncing back until you keep until you get uh get to where you're getting the treatment that you need and want and that's very important because once you can start getting your your mental health straight you can get everything else going uh, medicines got to be careful with those because and I, I did a video about this before that there's many many times where you feel you're going down the down the rabbit hole and it's not because you're uh, PTSD or whatever is getting worse it's the medicines that are affecting you more so than what your what your problem is it's the wrong medicine and like I said I'm not a professional I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night but the uh, through research and just talking to people that have uh, gone through it it's a real thing where the medicine is the problem not your actual problem they try to treat the symptom and not do the cure uh, I think we're still searching for the cure largely on PTSD uh, but uh, get a handle on your mental health do what you need to do don't quit keep going and then that should help slowly right the ship not completely not everything is gonna go away but we got to get to a place where we can get it under control now physical health uh, there's many ways to do that. You can do that through diet, uh, cutting out all this American processed food that we eat. Um, your health starts in the gut, largely. And if you can get that right, take a probiotic or whatever, you can do some good things for yourself. Um, we, in our family, use a mix of uh, essential oils, which a lot of people are like, ah, oh, that's bunk. I used to think that I don't believe that at all anymore. We also use regular modern day healthcare. The uh, if we can take toxins out of our life, like I have to get tested when I do when I get my yearly tests, I have to get my blood te or my blood tested because of my liver, because of the medicines that I'm given by the VA to control blood pressure blood thinning and a couple other things that I got to take um, so what I'm trying to say is they have to test that to make sure that the stuff that they're giving me is not killing me 
um, don't really have to do that so much with the essential oils. And I'm not saying that they're a cure-all, they certainly are not, but they are certainly a good enhancement to your wellness overall. Um, there's so many different things you can do, even if it's just a, a mood setter. Uh, goes back to that mental health thing. If we can get you in a better mood, you're going to feel better, things are going to go a little bit better for you. The, uh, and like I said, it, 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 we use modern medicine. I go to the VA, my family has their uh, family practitioners, my wife goes to the VA. Um, it's, we practice both sides of the aisle because there's benefit to both. And the thing is, is also it's about attitude when it comes to your for, to your physical and mental health. Do you want to be better? Then you got to take the necessary steps to do that. Um, take better care of yourself. Get up and exercise. Get that serotonin flowing. If you're still able to run, get out there and run again. Even if it's a slow jog, if you're 30, 40 pounds overweight. Um, just get out there and start doing it again if you're capable. I walk. I had two heart attacks. Me running is not exactly... A, uh, a given. I'll run a little bit here and there, play ball with the kids, play ball, play in the softball league, stuff like that. But uh, a lot of it is just getting out there, getting the body moving, getting the body active, getting the body, you know, but a body in motion stays in motion, I guess you could say. If you sit there and get all sedentary, it's going to be awful hard to get off your tail and start, uh, start doing stuff for your doing stuff for yourself to get yourself in better shape so the longer you wait the harder it'll be so take those take those steps it's good for up here too that's where I nor, normally I didn't walk today because it was raining um, but uh, the uh, normally it's my way to center also playing what I do in these videos so there's um, there's a lot to be said for the physical aspect of your health I know when I started working out uh, in the gym in the Y up in New York, my pain, once I got to a point where I could actually work out and not hurt myself, uh, my pain actually decreased. Uh, I wasn't perfect. I'm still sitting, usually riding at about a two every day, every moment of the day. I'm never pain free. Usually sit at about a four um, for, in different areas of my body. But uh, it helps because I was living at a six. That sucks. Living at a living at a two to four, good to go. I can function, uh, look normal, act normal. And I'm not saying that's that's all that's going to happen to you. But what I'm saying is, if you can get your health in line, you can. It allows you to do more upstairs and in your regular life, uh, your physical life. And that's important for longevity, and that's what we're shooting for. If you can get start getting things on track there, you might not feel so bad about one yourself and two your surroundings because you're able to better cope with them, work with them, especially with the mental health aspect. All right, so I'm gonna get done with this one, pushing eight minutes, no push-ups because it's one training, and two, I'm not doing push-ups on these roads because well. I'll get run the heck over because nobody can drive around here. Alright, so I post the videos on From the Edge to Thriving. Uh, I also post them on my own personal page, 29 Veterans Facebook Groups. Uh, if you would, please give them a share. If you can't share from the group that you find them in because of their security settings, please come to From the Edge to Thriving and share from there. Uh, bottom line is if you need help, seek help. Get it from friends, family, professionals. There's absolutely no shame and no weakness in getting the help that you need to be here. That's a sign of strength. Bottom, the other bottom line, I guess, is do not use suicide as a permanent solution to a temporary or permanent problem. You got this, and you can do it. I know you can. Tough out.